Cubs won 14 of 18. They've been a great baseball club of late. Top of the first, Ryan Howard with two on. He rakes one to right. Shane Victorino, who's had an unbelievable series scores, Chase Utley to third. Now Teixeira hit a two-run homer, so now it's 2-2. Two -two. Top of the third, Howard again. Guess who scores again? It's Victorino again. Howard's second RBI double of the game. The Phillies lead. Victorino, three for five on the day. Had that great outfield assist to win a game. He's been unbelievable. Boy power, man. Phillies up 4 3. You can pitch six innings. Bullpen was good. Durbin Lidge. Here's Howard again. Career high three doubles. The Phillies sweep the Braves in Atlanta. Did that last year as well. Howard three for five, four RBIs. Phillies red, hot, and in first place. The Florida sandwich between the Phillies and Braves in the NL East top three. Marlins hosting the Reds. Ken Griffey Jr., one shy of 600 home runs. He's facing Marlins pitcher Ryan Tucker making his major league debut. Griffey, he walks in the first. He was 0 for 1 with two walks. And the Ramirez, 541 home runs behind Griffey. You do the math. He's got 58 in his career. Uh, let's make it 59. His 13th at the bottom of the fifth with the Marlins up two run. Two, more, two runs shot off Aaron Harang. And if you dig it, do it. And if you really dig it, do it twice. Off Harang in the, the sixth. 14 and 60 career, five in the last five games. The Marlins win 9-2, and Tucker wins his Major League debut. Ken Griffey still one shy of becoming the sixth player in Major League history to hit 600, Junior's last home run, May 31st. Now, he's been getting on base since. Those 17 at-bats without going yard is the second longest homerless at-bat streak for a player looking for six bills. The game you watched on ESPN Sunday night, best record in baseball belongs to the Cubs. But it's L.A. poised to take three out of four, and they get Brad Penny off the schneid. He's 0-5 in his last six starts, and not the start he was looking for there. Mark DeRosa, top one, his eighth, Cubs up one. Top five, we are tied now at one. Alfonso Soriano on second, nobody out, and DeRosa. He goes right field line. Soriano scores on the single. DeRosa was three for five, and the Cubs take a 2-1 lead later in the inning. Same score, Aramis Ramirez at the plate. He doubles down the left field line, and DeRosa scores, and it's 3-1 Cubs. Bottom seven, first and second, two out, Carlos Marmol on the mound, and Blake DeWitt, right side, Derek Lee, Marmol fundamentally sound, Cubs escape a jam, Carlos Zambrano pump us up, Cubs win, 3-1. Visiting Minnesota, bottom two, Nick Swisher with two on, and he is Swisher sweet off Kevin Slowey. White Sox take a 3-1 lead on Swisher six to get three in the second, five in the third, and four in the fifth, and that's plenty for Gavin Floyd. Brought his breaking ball, and it was taken no prisoners. Michael Kadire chases, and then Jason Kubel, ditto. Justin Morneau, good game to watch. Matt McCree. We won't get fooled again. Yes, we will. Floyd, seven innings, six hits, one walk, two earned, a career high, nine Ks. White Sox, 12 2. They're sixth in a row since Ozzy went a little ballistic. 16 home runs in those six games as well, scoring 10 plus runs in three straight against the Twins. The Sox now lead the AL Central by five and a half and finish that series with the Twins. Angels and Airwaves and Athletics. The Angels going for their eighth win in a row and a six and a half division lead in the AL West. Rich Harden came out focused. He struck out the side on nine pitches. My series Taurus, Howie Kendrick, Garrett Anderson all go down on three pitches each. Top of the fourth, one nothing Oakland. Vladimir Guerrero, two run homer, and the Angels lead two to one. Hard left after six, struck out nine, three earned. Top of the ninth. Angels gonna try to extend that winning streak to eight in a row. Torrey Hunter, there's two on with two outs. Here's a 3-2. Beautiful slider from Houston Street. To the 12th we go, Mark Ellis. Two outs, bases loaded, extra inning affair. Earlier this year, May 7th, extra innings at home in the daytime. Stoink off the pole. He's won that game six to five. There was no one on. Back to Sunday, there's three on. In the daytime, at home, Stoink! Four-run homer. Last A's walk-off Grand Slam was by Mark McGuire, June of 1995. Also against the Angels, Oakland winner, winner, chicken dip. Let's go to Yankee Stadium, New York, with a season-high 19 hits in its win Saturday over Kansas City. And Jabba Chamberlain would love that type of offensive production in his second start. Top one, he gets Jose Guillen swinging at the 96 miles an hour heat. Five Ks for Jabba. Top two Yankees, 2-0 lead now, 2-1 Alex Gordon. 
Scores on the pass ball by Jorge Posada. Top three, two outs, full count. And Guillen, Guillen orders the uh, Java slider. Two run homer. Or on Chamberlain's day momentarily. Bottom six, Jason Giambi's mustache leading off. Full count and it is gone off Zach Grinke. Giambi's 14th, that leads the Yankees. It's 4-3 New York and Alex Rodriguez, what do he do? Bottom seven, two on, one out. He goes two for two, two RBI. He's batting 313. Damon and Abreu score. Abreu homered in this game and the Yankees win it. 6-3, Dan Geis, his first major league win, but hold on the road this season. 884 ERA, bottom third. M's up one, one out. Coco Crisp singles off Bedard. Your next batter's Brandon Moss. He gets the free pass. Julio Lugo flies out, so we got two out. Bedard walks Dustin Pedroia to load the bases. Next batter, he hits J.D. Drew. Crisp scores, so we're tied at one. Next batter, bases loaded, two outs. Manny Ramirez. Save our Sonics. Bedard, five innings, two hits, one run, three walks, five Ks, no decision. Bottom six, base is empty, and J.D. Drew, it's Sunday, and like Sonny and the Apostle, he's got the Holy Ghost power. That comes off Sean Green, 2-1, your final. Sox win it, J.D. Drew. When David Ortiz went down with a wrist injury on May 31st, Drew has delivered, batting over 500 with four homers, 10 RBI, 10 runs scored in eight games. You love hitting in front of Manny. Tampa, where? Texas, you got it. Matt Garza and the Rays seeking the sweep of the Rangers. He's going to shake off his catcher. Don't shake me off. All right, throw the fastball to Herman Duran. Goodbye. Three, nothing. Texas. Now, after Garza allows a single to the next batter, check this out. I've never seen this. Navarro gets right in the face of his pitcher. His mask is touching his face. He's going to cover his mouth so we can't read what he's now saying. Very, very odd. And after the inning ends, in the dugout they go. Pushing, shoving. Garza sent to the showers. Cool off. Four innings, six hits, three earned, two Ks. Very strange. The top of the six, raised down 4-2, Eric Hensky. Ooh. James Boy says that caught the outside corner. Hensky says it does not. You know that was outside. You know that was, oh. Oh, I don't know. Run him for that? Yeah, it's a hot Sunday. Eric Hinsky, gone. Rays lose six. Lance. Lance in his baseball pants. And look at this one. Bottom of the third, 460 feet. Third longest home run. Houston's ballpark history. Just the second in 20 games for Berkman. Does have 18 now. Top of seven. Cardinals up 4-3. All five runs the Cardinals score in this game, unearned. Bottom eight, Astros down 5-4. Despite that defense, can they possibly get back in this one? Oh, Lance Berkman rolls it over, then rolls his ankle over. Cardinals win 5-4. There's no way the Mets could lose four straight in San Diego, right? Pedro Martinez, second start of the season. He won at San Francisco Tuesday. Mets gave him a 3 0 lead in the top of one. He gives it back in the bottom of the one. Paul McNulty, the flare, that scores two, ties the game at three. Pedro, five innings, 10 hits, four runs, 97 pitches. We go bottom eight. Mets up 6 4. Billy Wagner, four out save. Two men on. Jody Garrett had three hits. He singles. Craig Stansberry scores, so the Padres pull within one. Next up, pinch hitter Tony Clark. San Diego native, went to high school there, big star there. And Bo Wagner thinks he got him. Look at San Diego in the, in the Nugent throwbacks, by the way. Laz Diaz is now that, that's not strike three. And so we've got a full count in the next pitch. Tony Clark, ouch. Three run shot. Clark said afterwards he finally made a contribution other than shaking hands at the end of the game. The Padres score, score four in the eighth, eight six win, and the Padres get their first four game home sweep of the Mets since 1980. Willie Randolph was in the sixth of his 18 seasons as a big leaguer then. The Pirates, not terrible, can get to 30 wins with a Sunday win over Arizona. That's where Van Pelt was on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, this is the third of a four-game series. They'll finish up Monday afternoon. Jose Bautista, Adam LaRoche scores. Buck Ayers tie it at one. Raul Chavez takes a hanger and bangs it to center. Bautista scores. And Lumber and Lightning. Pirates up two to one. Later, Jason Bay. Great bat speed. Check it out. Bay. Quick hands, doubles to left. Freddie Sanchez, Nate McLeod score. Pirates get five in the fourth. 
Top of the sixth, they're in a jam, but Tyler Yates gets Mark Reynolds to ground out. Pirates hold on to win. Six to four. Only one team, Kansas City, has fewer home wins than Detroit this year. Then again, Cleveland with just 12 road wins. So what gives? Well, Curtis Granderson usually doesn't start against lefties. That's his first homer off the lefty since July 23rd. Came off Jeremy Sowers, who's replacing the injured Jake Westbrook. And then they get three in the fourth. The Tigers do. Pudge Rodriguez, the base hit. Carlos Guillen, who doubled scores. It's 3-1. And then later in the inning, Placido Polanco singles to left. That scores a couple. The Tigers win 5-2. Rookie pitcher Armando Galarraga gets his fifth win. Dontrell Willis, your scheduled starter Monday for Detroit. Take the short drive from Detroit to Toronto. Roy Halladay on the hill as the Blue Jays host Baltimore. All five teams in the AL East at least 500. Luke Scott's ninth home run of the year, second of the game. And the Orioles looking good. They're up 4-2. Bottom six, same score. Yahtzee, 4-12. Get Vernon Wills. Sixth home run of the season. Blue Jays cut the lead to 4-3. Then they would take a 5-4 lead. Then their horse, Halliday, uh, down the stretch he comes. He gets Aubrey Huff. Strikes out seven. Ryan, his 13th save, and the Blue Jays beat the Orioles. Defending National League champion Colorado has the worst record in the NL. Still can sweep visiting Milwaukee with a win at home. Bottom seven, Rockies down one. Scott Patsednik with the ground ball to second. Joe Dillon and J.J. Hardy misremember how to finish the play. Take another look. Dillon's toss. Off Hardy's glove. Everybody's safe. Two batters later, bases loaded. Carlos Dillon away, but Todd Helton looking. Helton said he, he he left a small army on the bases in this one. And then Garrett Atkins grounds out to short, and the Brewers hold on and they win it. 3 2 is your final. Good weekend for Zito Nation. Nick Zito, trainer of Daytar, won the Belmont Berry in the nation's capital. dollars a year. Against Washington. Blasting's Millage fourth home run of the year. Nats up 1-0. However, top of the seventh, Giants up 4-3. John Bowker, two-run Jackson to right. And like Nick, Barry Zito is a winner. Just 2-9, but he does win in D.C. Well, the usual, we bowl, we drive around, and the occasional top 10 plays. At number 10, Rays, Rangers, Brandon Boggs, filed down the third baseline. Oh, Evan Longoria, third overall pick of the 06 draft, stretches out, makes the grab. He gets the top play, but the Rangers get the win. Future gold glover, number nine, Mariners and Red Sox. Here's a gold glove play, J.D. Drew. Back third in that lineup, you would hit the go-ahead home run in this game. The Red Sox win. J.D. Drew playing his best ball as a member of the Red Sox. Give me three catches. Give me three catches, mister. Joey Gathright at Yankee Stadium. Big day for the Royal. One, two, and this one, something else, but not enough. The Yankees beat Kansas City 6-3, your final. Yeah, but he jumps over cars. That's even cooler. That's what I've heard. Yeah, sources tell me. Number seven, Rafael Nadal dismantles Roger Federer. He wins the French Open 6-1, 6-3, 6, -1, 6, -3, 6 love uh, Pal Gasol can say, hey, you guys got game two, but I got in Sports Center's top ten plays. He goes baseline on Kevin Garnett. That might be the only highlight you're going to get of the Lakers on this here Sunday night. We had an outfield assist be number one on top plays this past week. Shane Victorino down there in Atlanta. Here's another one. Boy power. Andy Chavez guns down Edgar Gonzalez trying to go from first to third. Two hits for Chavez as well in the Mets' loss in San Diego. Let's go for Orioles, Blue Jays. Jay Payton popping it up. Looks like he'll get to another swing, but Rod Barajas says, no, I'm going to meet the fans. Reaches out and touches it. He also had two hits, and the Blue Jays won. Euro soccer, Poland, Germany. Miroslav Klose unable to get a solid leg on the ball, but Lukas Podolski one times it out of midair with the left. Look at that. Beauty. Germany's a top group B with three points and two goals. They won. Angels A's tied in the 12th. Mark Ellis. What do we got? Ellis! 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 Got a grand slam to win it! Off the foul pole, walk off, grand slam, Oakland, 7 3. Number one college baseball super regional, LSU. Irvine, and look at Leon Landry's athleticism. Holy shnikes, what a catch. LSU is a 